Okay, so in this section of our drone anatomy class, we'll be looking at GPS and optical flow sensors. So, what do these two things have in common? Well, basically, if we want to fly autonomous drone missions, we're going to need to determine where we're at in three-dimensional space. And these two sensors can help us do that. They can help us uh, track our progression from point A to point B. And that is something that we have to do in autonomous drone missions. And there are many different ways to, to do this. One is GPS, and that is this little guy here. And the other is optical flow, right here. In reality, determining where your position is in 3D space is actually much more difficult than I'm going to be covering in this video. It involves various calculations and fusing of many, many different sensors together. If you want to really go in depth about this, it's a very uh, comprehensive subject. I would uh, suggest you look into extended Kalman filters at this link here. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to highlight two of the main sensors for two different methods of determining uh, position in 3D space. But before I do that, let me just emphasize that for a very basic flight, you can, you can fly a drone with just an accelerometer and a gyroscope. I think I've flown a drone with those two sensors and an Arduino Nano before. So you can, you can fly a drone with very cheap sensors, but these two sensors are basically only good if you're going to be um, using manual flight only. And that is because when you're manually flying, you don't need to know, the drone doesn't need to know where it's at in 3D space because you, as the pilot, are telling it where to go in 3D space. But if you want to run autonomous missions, the drone is going to have to know where it is and where it's going without receiving input from a pilot telling it where to go. It's going to have to know how to do that by itself via its own sensors and its own uh, calculations. So let's look at the first method that a drone can do this by, and that is with a GPS. Um, this is by far the most popular method of uh, running autonomous missions, and it is used in conjunction with a magnetometer. Uh, pretty commonly, the magnetometer is also in this little housing here, and the magnetometer is used to determine the drone's yaw orientation in 3D space. But with GPS, the drone absolutely knows where it is in three-dimensional space. So to travel to another uh, waypoint or another location, the drone simply has to travel from its current known position to the target position. And in this sense, the drone trajectory to the waypoint is independent of the path traveled. So the drone can make it to the waypoint without having to pay attention to the path that it's traveling to get there. That leads me to the first pro. With GPS, drones are able to self-adjust their errors. What do I mean? Let's say a drone is traveling to a waypoint and a giant gust of wind throws it off path. Well, that doesn't really matter because a new reading will simply be able to, to tell the drone where its new position is in 3D space and it can adjust its, its path accordingly and it'll still be able to make it to its target waypoint. In that sense, the drone is self-adjusting because it was blown off path, but it can just make a new path to get to the waypoint. And the other uh, pro is that these are very cheap. The technology has been around for a very, very long time. Some cons. So in order to fly autonomous missions with GPS, the drone has to be outside and far away from buildings or large structures because the GPS module, this guy, needs to be able to communicate with satellites. And it can't do that very readily or easily if it's indoors. So, indoor flight and autonomous missions with GPS do not match. And that is where optical flow sensors come in. Optical flow sensors are used in conjunction with height determining sensors, something like a sonar or a barometer. In this case, there's a little sonar sensor on the right and just a normal camera on the left. But in optical flow, the drone does not know where it is in 3D space. It only knows how to travel relative to where it currently is. So the drone has to measure how far it's traveled. And by this, we can derive that 
the drone trajectory to the waypoint is dependent of the path traveled. And that leads me to the, the con here. Since the drone trajectory to a target waypoint is dependent of the path traveled, the drone with optical flow sensors are not able to self-adjust their errors. Because now, if a gust of wind blows the drone off course and the optical flow sensor wasn't able to pick up on that uh, gust of wind, well, the drone has no idea of determining its new position in space. So now, you have an error that you aren't able to adjust for. So let's say you were traveling, you wanted to travel north by 10 feet, and you had a, a gust of wind blow you west by 10 feet. Well, this optical flow sensor won't be able to know that the gust of wind blew you off course by 10 feet to the west. So you're just going to end up 10 feet to the west of where your target waypoint was. So optical flow sensors are not self-adjusting. But the pros are you can fly them indoors and by large structures. Since this sensor is not having to communicate with external satellites, it can be flown indoors. And that's pretty cool. Um, another con, though, is that it's pretty expensive because this is newer technology. 